Crime.tv. Previously on Chrono Trigger. Lean on me when you're not strong, and I'll be your friend. I'll help you carry on. Well, hello once again, and welcome back to Nathan Plays Chrono Trigger. My name is Nathan, and this is Chrono Trigger for the Super Nintendo. In the previous episode, we went back to the factory where Robo was made, and he got beaten into a robotic pulp by his former friends. It was very tragic, but we managed to fix him. And then we tried to go through a portal and ended up here at the end of time. The three humans in the party got magic abilities. And now we're going to uh, head back to some of the times we've been to in order to research the origins of Lavos and see if we can't uh, avert the destruction of the entire world. So if we head back through this doorway, we find uh, these lovely Pillars of Light, as they were referred to. Uh, this one takes us to Medina Village in 1000 AD. That's not our village, but it's the right era. This takes us back to Protodome 2300. Don't want that. And this goes to the Mystic Mountain in 65 million BC. Fascinating. We'll save that one for later. I guess Medina Village is as close as we're going to get. Uh... I'm not sure if we talked about this or not. Ultimately, we're going to try and get to 600 AD, which means heading back to the portal at the fairgrounds. Seems we're in the house of some monsters. M -m 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 monsters. Hey, did you people just come out of the closet? Get out of here. How about this one? Who do you think you are coming and going out of our closet at all hours? Scram! You know, not enough people say scram anymore, I think. We gotta bring that back. Wait a sec. Medina Village was founded by the ancestors of the mystics who lost a war to human beings. Most mystics hold a grudge against humans. Be careful. Okay, so we're in kind of the monster village, I guess. There's an odd man who lives near the cave in the mountains to the west. You might enjoy a chat with him. Thanks. Okay, just tone down the celebrations. Hey, why are you being so nice? Mystics aren't supposed to get along with humans. Humans fought the mystics over 400 years ago. My motto is forgive and forget, but not many seem to agree with me. Thanks. All right. So here's the uh, Medina village. Kind of nice. 1000 AD. There's something shining in Medina Square. Let's go check it out. Chrono, what's that weird chanting? So it's their hero, uh, Magus, again, as we saw them chanting to his statue earlier in 600 AD. I guess they still venerate this guy. Hut, Sir Magus. Hut. Uh, okay. All right. How about, uh, I don't really want to get into a fight with these guys. I'm just going to go. They didn't seem to notice me. Let's just go. That's the residence we came from. Up here is the Elder's House. Let's uh, see if we can't have a glance inside. I'm feeling nosy today. There's a little gleam on the table, meaning a speed tab. Very nice. This work is brutal. I'm Ozzy the Eighth, Medina Village leader. My ancestors served the Great Magus. Oh, Great Magus, why didn't you simply exterminate the human race 400 years ago? Hey, hey! You were right here. Anyway, I'm going to use that speed tab. Forget how to menu briefly. Oh, I have a magic tab that I forgot about. That's cool. We'll give it tomorrow. Speed tab goes to me. Chrono. I identify with Chrono. Goes to Chrono. And another glimmer upstairs. Interesting. Another magic tab. The beast lives in the cave on the mountain to the west. Only magic attacks can harm it. Oh, oh, that is just a handy thing. Those who do not possess magic will find it difficult to sneak by. Difficult sneak by. Well, I better get back to work and tidy up before Ozzy the Eighth finds me. Yes. It is a very convenient thing that we have just learned magical abilities. Not that I'm complaining. Looking around the rest of the village, we have a market here, an equipment shop. 
No human's gonna talk to me. Okay, fine. Nothing here to sell humans. Get out of here. Well, I can give up or plead. You know what all humans teach them a lesson, boss. And a fight breaks out with the hench and the Omnicron. The hench, um... Is not the one you want to go for, but when you defeat the Omnicrone, the battle ends. We learn Dual Tech Antipode. Very nice. That'll be very, very uh, useful. I hope that's the pronunciation. They got the boss beasts! Alright, I'll sell something to you. But his prices are crazy! He's got good stuff, but... Um, Really, we're, we're nowhere close to being able to afford any of that stuff. Even his tonics are 790 apiece. Uh, so, all right. Okay, you know, I, I see how it is. Revives and shelters. Look at that. Ha! You think I'm going to cut my prices for a human? Yeah, I, I, you know, I don't know what I was expecting. You're right. Here's a Medina Inn. There's an inn like many others. You're spoiling my meal. Scram. Oh, there it is again. So cool. No room here for humans. Scat! I can give up and walk away or plead with them. You know what? I'm just gonna... I'll just leave that one. Here's a mysterious uh, monument. Forest ruins. mid ether in the treasure chest. Very nice. And there's a sort of glowing pyramid here that apparently serves no function we can discern. Suppose we'll come back to it later in the game. Alright, let's go see that odd man they were talking about. Old man? Odd man? There's the cave. Melchior's hut. Interesting. Ah, oh, hello! Could I interest you in a weapon? Yes, I'd like to buy one. So it's time to do a little bit of shopping. There's a very nice red katana for uh, Chrono that also gives magic plus two. And uh, some more titan vests might be nice. Unfortunately, we do not have enough money for all of the things. So we'll get the vests. A couple of mid tonic, or mid tonic there. Generally, just try and uh, make sure I'm stocked up. The, the little tonics are still useful. Just to top up health in the middle of a fight or something. Hmm. Weapons. If there weren't evil in this world, there would be no need for weapons. What a sad state of affairs. Uh, yeah, I guess. Anyway, let's put on our new vests. And poke around your basement. Nothing here. Just books and swords and such. Nothing really to interact with. Kind of boring. Not even a pool table. Come on, man. I thought I would see if he said anything else, but he doesn't. Well, you know where to find me should the need arise. Should you desire to return to Truce Village, use the shortcut through the cave in the mountains to the north. Uh, okay. Cool. Shortcut. Heckran Cave. Aw, Heckran. Death to the Mystic's enemies! Oh, 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 okay. Alright, well... We got a couple of henches to start us off. Not very susceptible to physical damage. So we're gonna try out the new move that we learned. This is the new dual tech. Antipode or Antipode? I'm not sure. I've always said Antipode and, um, you know, leave comments, uh, if you have evidence that it's a different way. So obviously it does a massive amount of damage, and it's pretty awesome. And then we can now explore further into the cave. Somebody did considerately put torches and a rope ladder here. And an ether. Who's leaving these chests around in these games, in these scenarios? That's what I'd like to know. We have a gin bottle, sort of burping out some octo blushes. And the gin bottle is one of the things that does not take really any physical damage as well, so as you can tell, this is going to be a cave for getting acquainted with your new magical abilities. Uh, when to use them. You know, how to manage uh, MP and that sort of thing. A 
Have a nice waterfall going through the cave. A little bit of ambiance there. And another uh, new enemy type. Coming up through the ground. I assume they're supposed to be sort of burrowing out of the ground. They're Temporites. Kind of, um, I don't know, lobsterish beetle things. We're not even going to bother trying to physically hit them. Chrono's slash attack still uh, kind of counts as a magical attack, I think, so in some cases it does work pretty well. Marl's ice is a bit better. Makes sense. Hmm. Came to a fork in the road. I think this is kind of a side path. I want to make sure I get the side rooms and extra treasure chests if I can find them. Here we have pallet swapped purple roly polies or whatever they're called. Oh, these are roly polies. They were rollies and then polies. And now I believe they're roly polies. Fire whirl is, they're not quite close enough together, which is a little bit sad, but I can slash a couple of them. And we'll just flame toss the rest. Using flame toss is a little more economical than using the actual fire spell in terms of MP. What's a cave without bats? Cave bats. Oh, cave bats, you are such jerks. And one slash doesn't even take him out. They're like tough cave bats, weirdly. I thought I'd give it a shot just to see if it did anything, and didn't really. Physical attacks again, do nothing. Nathan, try to remember this. And then the battle's over. We'll do a little bit of post-fight maintenance. Throw an aura around there. And let's see what all the fighting was for. A magic scarf. Ooh. What does it do? It gives magic plus two to the wearer. Should we use it? Mm, sure. I haven't felt like Luke has been in mortal danger defense-wise, so I'll shift her over a little bit to magic. Another mid-ether. I did quickly catch a glimpse of that chest up to the north, so we're going to make sure we grab that. This fight was boring, so... <laughs> no, nope. yeah, 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 there you go. Don't forget. Well, it's just a regular. A weirdly similar scenario to the previous room. Only now there are four. Still, not too bad to take down. Time to uh, tank up a couple of magic points. We're using a lot of uh, Chronos moves, actually. more than you might expect for him being kind of more physical attack oriented. I guess maybe he's like an all-rounder. I don't know.
time to check the stats for some reason. I'm not sure what I was looking for there. And get accosted by more Octoblushes. Thankfully, I've got this fight down a little better than the last time. One slash takes care of two of them. Then an ice and a fire for the other two. You'll notice um, if you go back and look at the cover of the game as well as the cartridge artwork for the North American version. Um, oh, one of these. That uh, they have the elements for Luca and Marl mixed around, swapped around. I guess they must have made that promotional image or concept art before they finalized it, but Marl is seen using fire. Luca using. Uh, no, actually, Luca doesn't do anything. She's just in the background. But Marl's using fire. Oh, man. I hope somebody got fired over that blunder. No, I don't. It's fine. So we have a save point in the middle of the cave, which means a shelter in the middle of the cave, because obviously a boss fight is coming up. And in Death to the Mystic's enemies, yeah, yeah, yeah. We've been there. We heard it. Let's meet Hecran, everybody. It's the Hecran of Hecran Cave. We all wondered... Um, it's a little bit unclear. Somebody, you know, in our in our conversations before the cave mentioned that there was a monster that only responded to magic. There's actually a bunch of them, but this guy in particular just needs those magic attacks. So we're going to be just dropping our biggest trains every turn when we can. It looks kind of like a walrus. This, uh, speaking of the cover artwork for the game, this appears to be the guy that, uh, the team is fighting on the box. It's Hecran. And they're outside in the snow, so... Again. Cyclones are pretty nasty. Those are the things he can do. 96 hole damage, which means that, you know, another unlucky one is gonna drop you. So best to get on top of healing after those things hit. Even if it's just Chrono doing for himself. When Hecran says go ahead, try and attack, uh, you're gonna go ahead and guess, unless you're very, very new to RPGs, that it is not a good time to attack. And now is actually a perfect time to heal up and take care of your own wounds and things. If you attack, he is, of course, going to counterattack in a very nasty way. So you just wait. Brief counterattack break. It's time to start dropping trains again. And before long, I decided to risk it that time, even though he was... Even though he was uh, huddled there. 250 experience points. Very nice. 10 tech. 1,500 gold. Yay. If only the great mages who brought forth Lavos 400 years ago had destroyed the human race. Ooh, hint. The world would have belonged to us mystics! Grrr! Right, that was just a terrible grrr. Really didn't sell that at all. I'm sorry. In the Middle Ages, mages created Lavos, the destroyer of this planet's future. If we go to the Middle Ages and take out mages, can we change history? We could use the Gate of the Fairgrounds. Oh, okay, so we hadn't talked about it yet. Spoiler! Sorry. Jump in! You might as well. And out you pop from a whirlpool. Right by Luca's house. Let's go say hi. Let's pop in. Luca's place is a bit of a mess. As you might expect, a lot of science being done everywhere. Nice kitchen. Upstairs to the left is presumably Lucas' room. To the right is uh, her mum. Lara, Luca, and Tabin only care about their silly toys. 
Oh, and here he comes now. Here's what we earned today. You're so thoughtful. And off he goes. If you look closely at Tabin's sprite, I've never been able to decide if he has a big chin or a beard. I think it's a beard. Anyway, he made a Tabin vest for Luca. The ultimate in defense for my daughter. And yes, it does fit only her. Speed plus two and fire guard up. I thought maybe this would be good for Marl, but she cannot wear it. So, nice to stop by the house when you can. The other house we're going to stop by is, of course, Kronos, because uh, it's fun to introduce people. But before we get there, let's say hi to Fritz. You remember Fritz? Chrono, I owe you one. You saved my skin back there. Man, was I up the creek. I went off on a buying trip and ended up getting jailed with a bunch of thieves. The officials plan to execute me without a trial. What has gotten into them? I know, right? We're forever in your debt. Thank you again. Hope my dad never hears about this. Get ten mid-ethers. Nice, man. Uh, hey! D dad Working hard? Yes, Papa. Telling lies? No, Papa. But of course, right? Y yes. Well, all right. Chrono, I'm in your debt. Oh, so he knows. Dad knows. He's not going to give you anything. Now, Chrono, down to business. Please, buy whatever you like. All right, I'm expecting a pretty hefty discount after all that, but I, I don't get it. Uh, very similar to Melchior's selection. Uh, good time to top up on some of those other uh, consumables. Comestibles, if you will. And now I'm going to sell a thing or two things. I have two load swords. That's right. Well, I'm going to sell some of the crappier stuff. I just need 4,500. I always hate selling weapons and, and, and stuff in RPGs, even though it's like I'm never going back there. Like, I'm not going to re-equip them, you know, when it's 20 hours from now and these things are pathetic. But I just I hate selling them. Anyway, now I can afford the cool red katana. Anyway, let's go home real quick. Chrono! Chrono, you had me so worried I heard you were to be executed, dear. Oh, word gets around. <laughs> Sorry, Mom. Stop scaring me like that. Okay, we're just gonna go have a quick nap upstairs, Mom. No big deal. It's just me and two ladies in my room. How about a snooze? Totally platonic. Just snoozing. Say hi to Cat. Hi. Luca, we hardly see you these days. I've been kind of busy. Don't let life pass you by, dear. And say hi to your parents. So that's nice. Uh, I'll be I'll be sure to bring by other characters uh, to Mum's house when I can, or to Chrono's house rather. So it's a quick trip back through the Millennial Fair. There are more games and things that we can play, but uh, I don't know. We we gotta get moving. We gotta keep this adventure going. So now instead of taking us directly to 600 AD as it used to, all portals that you find will take you back to the end of time. And as you can see, we have two new columns. That's for the one we just came from and the one we were going to. Lean Square 1000 AD is now on the table. And the other one being 600 AD. But we're going to go grab one more. Just because we can. Just to add it to our collection. So we don't have to do this later. So we pop back to 1000. And make the trip around to the Guardia Forest. Where we run up. And... Get this one that we escaped through earlier. Still has that weird palette thing. I don't know what the reason for that is. That one looks different than all the other ones 
and there's no explanation for it. Anyway, now there's only two left, and we'll get to those much later. Since we're at the end of time, we're going to restore our HP and MP, and we're going to quickly save the game and call it a video for today. So in the next episode, we're going to head back to 600 AD and see if we can't deepen our investigation into the mystery of Lavos's origins. Um, thank you for your patience in waiting for this episode, and thank you ever so much for watching. We'll see you next mission.